Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project college management system and I have developed this project in vb.net and MySQL. For vb.net uh, I am using the Visual Studio 2019, for MySQL I am using the Jam server, right? And uh, from Jam server I am using the PHP my admin for uh, performing any type of CRUD application on the MySQL database, right? Creating, updating and creating columns, creating data tables, tables and all for I am using the my, PHP my admin MySQL database right so these all technology stacks and ID I have used for developing this project college management system right this is a windows based application where we have written all of the forms in vb.net you can see these are the modules we have developed attendance course fees faculty home right so these are the modules right and for running this project you must have the vb.net uh, sorry uh, visual studio 2099 jam server right so once you uh, run this project and for running this project just click on the SLN file we will provide you the SLN file and once you click on that SLN file you will get this page right and for running this project just hit on the start button right once you click on the start button it will show you the loading form that is a splash form this is a splash form and after that it will load the login form here you can enter the user ID and password so here the user ID is admin and the password is test Right. Once you log inside the system, oh, it's saying that login is failed. So I think the password is wrong. Now the password is correct. The password is test. Right here, you will form your MDI form will be loaded out. Right, and you can see these are the menu options available here. Right here, there's just a file, the logout and exit application, which will which I will explain later. This is student management here. You can see there are the list of students and is coming from the database site. If you want to perform the CRUD application, means create, update, and delete operations. You run the student, just click on that, and after that, you will be able to perform the CRUD application on this. If you want to create new, just click on the new, and you will be able to create a new student here this drop down is coming from the database this course drop down from this course management right so here from the drop down you will be able to see all of the courses which you have added into the database right so now the timetable management system here you will be able to update your timetables right and you can add new you can delete the current one right this is a subject you can see these are the subjects day name and the class name from time to time right you can fill this form and after that after clicking on the add button it will save inside the database right if you want to delete anyone just click on that and just click on the delete and that record will be deleted from the database right the next one is a course management this course is the master table and you will see the course drop down in different forms those course drop down is filling from this course right currently you can see there are seven courses inside the system but you can add any number of courses and those courses will be loaded in those drop downs right you can see this is a course name course duration and this all things will be uh, filled by you and after that click on the save and those details will be saved inside the database this is a faculty management for managing the faculty teachers uh, who are working in the uh, college right you can again perform the CRUD application using this form on the faculties, right? This is the attendance management system and here from here you will be able to uh, mark the attendance of the student. So you can see this is the uh, attendance and this is a search button. Once you click on this, you will be able to see the list of all students, right? Which you have added earlier, right? Just click on that and it will load the student and you can select the attendance and just click on save and that attendance will be marked for that day that you can see this has been updated right if we want to delete anyone just click on that and just click on delete and the attendance will be deleted right this is the fees management here thus this form is for the fees management and this is a browser student once you click on the browser student it will load the all of the students and if you click on that and after that you can fill this records and just click on the save button and those record will be saved inside the database and after that you can perform the create read update and delete operations on that right 
this is the about and this is a static page and if you want to add your names your group names or your course name you can add your course and details here this is a static page right and after updating it you can save and those will be updated here you need to update it from the code directly there is no database operations available on this page the last one is the exit if you have completed all of the things then you can exit from here right then that will be exited right and you will be logged out from the system right so these all features we have developed inside this project and the project title is college MMS system and as i told you earlier this project i have developed in vb.net and mysql database using the visual studio 2019 so if you need any feature any enhancement in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos of the latest classes thanks for watching the video thank you very much